Good morning, everybody. Hey, thanks for joining me for this song and Bible reading. Thanks for those who sat in on my little live stream two days ago now. Boy, the days are just flying by. So we were gone for a couple weeks, as you know, and I sure appreciate all the notes and the phone calls and the comments about, hey, have you quit doing this? Or has they has YouTube or Facebook kicked you off? Or what is going on? We were on holidays as a family to go to a church camp. Just a beautiful, beautiful time. Any of you who sat in on that live stream a couple of days ago will hear more about that. So I'd encourage you to listen back to it. The sound isn't that great, but it will tell you more about what we did and why we are just so excited to be have to have the opportunity to be in there but also the opportunity to be back home ready and willing to follow his leading and walk in his spirit i hope you all are too you know we are not called to um, to fulfill our salvation on our own lusts but we are called so that in love we can serve one another. And we also serve a true king and a kingdom of God, Jesus Christ. We're not worried about all the things that are happening in the world. We want to be concerned with moving on with God into the place where he has for us. Here's a song that we like to sing. God is moving us on. God is moving us on. He is leading the way. It's a way we have never gone before. There are mountains to climb, there are valleys to cross, but before us we see an open door. God is moving us on, He is leading the way. It's a way we have never gone before. There are mountains to climb, there are valleys to cross, but before us we see an open door. <laughs> Got ahead of myself. You know, I wanted to tell you that our salvation is not just so we can sit on our laurels and wait for some event to happen, but God is calling us to move on with Him. He's calling us to mature as children of God, babes as you might say in the scriptures, to mature sons of God who will walk with Him and reign and rule with Him in the kingdom of God. So we ought to be growing in our faith. We ought to be maturing and more and more showing forth the fruit of the Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, meekness, temperance, faith. Against such, there is no law. And that's not, like I said, um, to consume it upon ourselves, our own lusts, but to serve Christ and His church and the surrounding world. So, we ought to be gaining ground. God is moving us on, He is leading the way, it's a way we have never gone before. There are mountains to climb, there are valleys to cross, but before us we see an open door. So to answer a whole lot of people's questions, I am planning to continue on with this song and Bible reading. There were some, of course, reasons that I couldn't do that um, while we were gone. Check out that live stream, it'll tell you more. And so, as far as I am concerned, I'll continue on with this live, with this song and Bible reading as best I can, but I'll probably have to tell you a little hint. We are probably going to back off Facebook quite a bit, um, and likely I'm not sure what's going to happen with YouTube yet, but Facebook and YouTube, really, it's, um, anyways, I don't know how that's going to happen yet, but I'm going to more concentrate on this and probably fewer songs on Facebook and YouTube. Hmm. We'll see how it goes. We're, we're trying to be 
We're trying to be led by the Spirit. We're trying to do what's right for our family at, and at the same time try and uplift those who are wanting good, clean content on Facebook and YouTube. But like I've said before, I've always had a love-hate relationship with Facebook for sure. And uh, anyways, stay tuned. So we are reading in the Psalms, if you remember, and I believe that we're in Psalm 17. Yeah, because Sonor or Anna, Anna read Psalm 16 on our trip. And then we didn't get back to it. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we ask for your leading in our lives. We ask for our family's leading in regards to these devotions in our Facebook and YouTube workings. And I also ask for each and every one listening and watching that you would lead them. Lord, that you would draw them to a higher calling in Christ so that together as fellow members of the body of Christ, we can minister to one another and we can chase back the armies of the enemy and gain the ground into that promised land that you have promised, not only to your church, but to each and every one of us personally. Lord, let your word drive our faith to believe these things. In Jesus' name, amen. So we got Psalm 17. Hear the right, O Lord. Attend unto my cry. Give ear unto my prayer that goeth not out of feigned lips. Let my sentence come forth from thy presence. Let thine eyes behold the things that are equal. Thou hast proved mine heart. Thou hast visited me in the night. Thou hast tried me and shalt find nothing. I am purposed that my mouth shall not transgress. See, these are the things that we are wanting to improve on as we're led by the Spirit. We drop away the things of the flesh and we add on to our lives the things of the Spirit. These things should be happening in our lives day by day, every day. Verse 4. Concerning the works of men, by the word of thy lips I have kept me from the paths of the destroyer. Hold up my goings in thy paths, that my footsteps slip not. I have called upon thee, for thou wilt hear me, O God. Incline thine ear unto me, and hear my speech. Show thy marvelous loving kindness, O thou that savest by thy right hand them which put their trust in thee from those that rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of the, the eye. Hide me under the shadow of of thy wings, from the wicked that oppress me, from the deadly enemies who compass about me. They are enclosed in their own fat. With their mouth they speak proudly. They have now compassed us in our steps. They have set their eyes bowing down to the earth. Like as a lion that is greedy of his prey, and as it were a young lion lurking in secret places, arise, O Lord, Disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. From men which are thy hand, O Lord, from men of the world, which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with, thine, with thy hid treasure. They are full of children, and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness, I will be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. Isn't that wonderful? That has been the plan of God from the very beginning, that he would make man in his own image. And so there we go, little by little, step by step. He's making us from this vile creatures, which we are, as the scriptures say, into like unto his glorious body. And he can do by that by the working of his marvelous power as we let him work in our lives day by day. How do we let him work in our lives? We listen to his voice and we be led by that still small voice that I know you all hear. 
you don't think you're hearing it, maybe quiet down a little bit and be still and know that He is God. He's talking to you. He's speaking to you. He's beckoning to you. He's leading you. And we can all do that together because more than ever, this is what we are learning in these days is that He wants to work as a body. He's not just picking out Him here and Him here as He has done in the past. We've had many mighty men of God work in the lives of people. But that's not how He's working anymore. He's working, He wants to bring together His body. He's working as a body. And I want to be a part of that. It's a wonderful thing. And uh, as we're led by the Spirit, He can draw us unto that, that body. Mm, beautiful times. So don't let anything that's going around about you worry you. Don't care one hoot about the election. God is in control. And we have a king. His name is Jesus. He's, he's king and ruler of our lives. And he knows exactly what's going on in the earth. The wars, yeah, we pray for Jerusalem. We pray for those that are going through really, really tough times. But we leave those things in the hands of God who is well able to take care of his creation. So there's all kinds of things to worry about. But we as children of God are exhorted not to take any thought for that. He clothes the lily of the fields. He feeds the birds. And he'll take care of you too. Put your trust in him. All right. It's good to be back. I'm going to just try and be consistent with this. Um, of course, as soon as we get back, Anna started school. Well, Gabe and Nate and Anna all started school. Christina started teaching. She's in grade five science this year. So we're left with some really busy times. A lot of catch up to do from our trip. So, um, here's to a lot of work in the next few days, weeks, but he'll take care of it. All right, Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow morning.